Cancer Full Moon on January 1st is a beneficial event. And Happy New Year! This is a wonderful way for all of us to move into the new year. The moon itself is in a amazing grand water trine with Mars in Scorpio with Jupiter coupled with Jupiter in Scorpio trining the moon in Cancer to Neptune in Pisces. This is going to empower your intuition, your psychic abilities, your spirituality, your compassion. It is inspiring and it is about anchoring love in your heart for yourself, for humanity, for the world going into this new year. It is amazing how the water energy is so powerful here in January to balance the earth energy, which is also extremely powerful here in January at the Cancer full moon, you have Saturn in Capricorn. He's home now. He's empowered. He's taking action. Venus, the goddess of love and beauty and abundance, is in Capricorn, coupled with the sun in Capricorn. And that coupling will go exact with Pluto on the 9th. So Venus, the Sun, and Pluto in Capricorn are together here at the Cancer full moon, and it will become one on the 9th of January. And so this is about the power of your passion, using the power of passion to achieve your goals in the new year and the universe is supporting you. With cancer, it is about God harmony, being the master of your emotional body, your feelings, your emotions, what drives you emotionally, being in harmony with your inner being, your inner world, your outer world. It is important for all of us to create harmony within ourselves. If we want harmony in the world, it starts within us. We need to create God harmony within self. Capricorn is about power, God power. We often associate Capricorn with ambition and goals and achievement. The highest level of Capricorn is God power. It is that mountain goat climbing to the top of the mountain of your mighty I am presence, your God power, who you really are, and pulling in that God power into your consciousness so that you are operating from not the wounded ego where we can be, you know, from the cancer, you know, the self-pity, the self-justification, the indecision, and not from the competitive ego, the Capricorn part of us that is judgmental, critical, controlling, stepping on everyone to get to the top. <laughs> what we see in the world today, that is not the way to go, but from your creative power. Your creative power is unlimited. And from your creative power, you create wealth by being on purpose and keeping the faith. You build wealth. 
You can build wealth in the new year by focusing on your creativity, taking right action will get you to where you want to go. And that is the key, is using the God consciousness, which is a living substance. God is a living substance that permeates, penetrates, and fills the universe, all of us. And we're working with that substance to create wealth, to create abundance. And this gorgeous grand water chime is about that very deliberate creation where you use the power of your mind to visualize what it is you want in your life using the power of your mind to hold that vision. That's where the faith comes in because there's always things that are being thrown at us that can take us off purpose, can take us away from the vision and the higher frequency, the higher vibration. That is being in fifth dimension. When you are keeping the faith, staying on purpose, holding your vision, not getting caught up in the fear porn that is on the internet or the television, the fear porn that is fed to us daily will not bring you what you want. It will not bring you God harmony. It will not bring you God power. It will not build wealth. You want to stay focused on your vision. What is it that I want to create in this new year, in this amazing 2018? What is it that I want to create? Hold the vision of what you want to create. Hold it firmly in your mind and discipline your mind so that you don't go into self-doubt, so that you don't go into self-pity, so that you don't go into, I'm going to control everyone and everything. <laughs> or, you, you know, the, the whole, I, I'm going to be so ambitious that I will just be ruthless to get ahead. And, you know, and so, so we want to stay out of the competitive ego. We want to stay out of any sense of competitiveness because that is not where the abundance is. The abundance that flows to you through your mighty I am presence, through your God power is unlimited. And it comes from source. It comes from God. It comes from creator. And this is an amazing moon that can empower you to visualize what it is you want to create in the new year through the cancer energy, nourishing and nurturing yourself, taking good care of yourself. Your wealth is in your health. The better you feel, the better life looks. The better you feel, the more you can do and applying discipline, patience, perseverance, practicality, building. We climb that mountain step by step. We're not looking for overnight achievement or overnight win the lottery here. Although some of you may with this grand water train find that you are. Everything you touch turns to gold. But for the rest of us who are doing it step by step and progressively moving up in whatever we're doing through a firm, solid foundation, balancing harmony with power, balancing the masculine with the feminine, balancing our energy so that we're practical and grounding the light as it moves through your crown chakra, third eye chakra, throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, seat of the soul chakra, base of the spine chakra, root chakra through into the earth from the great central sun grounding you into the earth energy so that you're powerful and balanced, focused and disciplined 
in whatever action you take, putting your power into everything you do, both small and great tasks every day, being intentional and putting the power of success in everything you do on a daily basis will give you successful days. And when every day is a successful day, you're living a successful life that will bring you to building wealth, health, love, living a great life. And you're here to live a great life. You're not here to live a mediocre life. You're not here to live, you know, um, a crappy life. You're here to live a great life, no matter what the astrology is doing. And this energy is about shifting in a new direction. January is about shifting in a new direction. When you're focused on the past, that is depression. If you find yourself getting depressed, you're focusing on the past. If you find yourself getting anxious, you're focusing on the future. When you find yourself at peace, you're in the present and all power is in the present. All power is here today. And when I work with clients and they have a lot of anxiety about something, about their future, about what they're doing, I will ask them today, here we are in your session with me. Is there anything you're afraid of about today? And the client always says, no, I'm not afraid of Wednesday. I'm not afraid of Thursday. I'm not afraid of Saturday. I'm not afraid of Monday. No, I'm not afraid. It's when you go out into the future, you get scared because you're not there yet. You have no power in the future. You're not there yet. So pull the energy back and make sure you're very present. If you're living in the past and you're doing the nostalgia thing, oh, it was so great in the past. It was so great there. Really? Was it? Was it really that great? Or does it just seem like it's great because you're in a new energy now, today? Because you're in the new energy. And the light is on coming. And the light is filling all of us. And as we are in the new vibration and a higher vibration, a higher vibration, it requires us to peel more layers of the onion. It requires us to strip more of the competitive negative ego. And so it becomes new territory. It becomes the pioneering spirit of the new age that is dawning. But before we get to Aquarius, we have to master Capricorn and Cancer at the Cancer full moon. Then we'll be asked more to, uh, to master the Capricorn energy at the new moon in Capricorn on the 16th of January. Here at the full moon, full moons bring things to completions. What is completing for you? Is it an old way of thinking? Is it an old way of responding? Is it fear? There's so much fear sweeping the planet and the politics going on in the world and those that profit from fear. Pull your consciousness out of that. Pull your consciousness into the power of your creativity. When you're focused in the now, when you're focused today and in your creativity, all of that washes into the background and fades into dust. It doesn't matter what's going on with other people. It only matters what's going on with you. How are you feeling? How are you taking care of you? What action steps are you taking to achieve your vision, to achieve your goals? And I have many free coaching tools available for you at my website to help you create what you want to create in 2018 to help you focus on what would be appropriate goals for you. What would empower you? And I am going to create another new program. I'll have it ready in March. It is about using the power of creation 
to build wealth. Using the power of creativity to build your wealth. And of course, I'll include the astrology in it and the coaching. When you focus on your creativity and you know your cycles in astrology, you know where the creative power is with you. Where do you tap into your creativity? And you can always develop gifts. Gifts are sometimes brought in from past lives, but you can develop the gift of whatever it is you want. Just because you've been going along in a path of one profession, that doesn't mean you can't move into a new area of work and develop gifts in those areas. It will take hard work <laughs> and, and hours of dedication. But you can develop new gifts, new talent, and new abilities in a new area for yourself. It is about passion. And it is about desire. Desire is a manifestation of power. The desire to do something is the power within you to do it. If you have a desire for something, that means you have the power within you to achieve it. If you have the desire to be abundant, that means you have the power within you to do it. You know, sometimes not getting what you want is the universe protecting you from wasting time. That is what Saturn does. Saturn is the one that gets you to what you want. He can do it by delaying things. He can do it by limiting you. He can do it by focusing you in areas that you didn't think you needed to go into, but you really do in order to get where you want to go. Saturn is the one that delivers lasting success, not temporary, overnight. Woohoo! Jupiterian, wasn't that a fun ride, but now it's gone. <laughs> Saturn builds buildings. Saturn is the master builder. So is Capricorn. And in the cosmic clock of astrology, Capricorn falls on the 12 o'clock line. Cancer falls on the 6 o'clock line. So if we took the astrology and we overlaid it on a clock, and you can Google this, the cosmic clock of astrology, putting Capricorn on the 12 o'clock line, everything comes out of Capricorn. Even though in Western astrology, our new year begins in Aries, which is the three o'clock line in the cosmic clock of astrology. But here in January, we're on the 12 o'clock line. It's midnight and we're about to enter a new cycle. And we have this amazing cancer full moon on the first of the year. Here it is, the first of the year, and we have a full moon, a powerful full moon, a spiritual full moon, where God is calling you, saying, turn your worries over to me. Let me be in control. Surrender the competitive ego, the negative ego, the fear, the anxiety. Surrender that over to me and focus on your creativity. Focus on your joy. Focus on your happiness. And this isn't the only full moon we have this month. We have this amazing Cancer full moon on the 1st. And then we have the Leo full moon lunar eclipse on the 31st. This is a powerful game-changing month for all of us. And that's why it's so important to get off to a good start and to flow out of that 12 o'clock line, to flow out of this energy to our great success in this new year, using the power of your visualization, being on purpose, keeping the faith, Keeping the faith is so important to building wealth, to building health, to building love, to building a great life.
and you are here to have all of that. It is your God sovereign right to be abundant. It is your God sovereign right to be healthy and free and happy. Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you creative. I recently picked up the book, The Artist's Way, because I want to really pull people into their creativity when I do the next event. And it is a great book, The Artist's Way, especially if you're at the beginning of your creative power. If you're at the beginning of writing a book or anything that you want to do creatively, it's, it's a great book because it takes you step by step of getting out of your own way, of whatever's holding you back, where you can pour yourself into your creativity and master whatever it is you do. Creativity isn't just about art <clears throat> or painting or singing or dancing or writing. Creativity is where you're coming from your authentic self. You're coming from your emotions, your passion, your desire. And you're pouring that into whatever it is you do. That's creativity. And when you're in your creativity, you have the unlimited abundance from your I am presence, your causal body, your mighty I am presence, which is your God power. You're pulling in your God power and you're coming from a higher consciousness. That is fifth dimension. When we come from a higher consciousness and we stay out of fear, you're in fifth dimension. When you fall back into fear and you fall back into the competitiveness and you get caught up in the, the ending of the world, the world is going to end and this is going to happen and all that's going to happen, uh, then you're back in 3D. You are absolutely in the negative consciousness. And that's why it's so important to discipline the mind. The mind must be disciplined so that you do not allow it to get caught up in fear, to get caught up in negativity, that you don't allow your brain to get caught up in anything negative, whether it's the past or the future, that you're staying present in every moment. And when you discipline the mind, you can stay in higher dimension. You can stay in higher consciousness. You could use your God power to create the abundant life and live a great life, which you are here to do. So harness the power of the Cancer full moon. Make sure to step back and not react to any of the negativities that others may be playing or that may come at you in this first couple of weeks in January because that Cancer full moon, yes, it does have this gorgeous, beautiful, spiritual, intuitive, compassionate, inspiring, loving grand water trine. But as she separates, as that moon separates, she comes in closer contact with Pluto. Just like the sun will merge with Pluto a week later. And Pluto can be about games. It can be about power plays, manipulation, hidden agendas, power struggles. With the moon, it can be about emotional power struggles. So that will be the test, not on the day of the full moon, because there's a wide orb with Pluto, over seven degrees. So we have plenty of room to drink in this delicious grand water trine, yummy. <laughs> but then we have to be aware a week later or day, you know, 24 hours later, the moon is now wrestling with Pluto. Oppositions are awarenesses. So you will be made aware of the game that others may try to pull you into. And the test will be, will I stay in higher consciousness and focus on my creativity? Or I lower myself and get in the mud and fight it out. Right fighting, right fighting. I'm right, I'm right. That's all ego. That's all ego. When you're busy in your creativity, you don't have any time to worry about who's right, who's wrong. Stay in your creativity. Use this amazing Cancer full moon to create a great life, great abundance. One final event I want to mention, and that is Uranus moves direct January 2nd, the day after the full moon all the planets will be direct from January 2nd until March 8th. 
That is the wind in your sails. That is the universe giving you green lights to go after your vision, to go after your goals, to go after your dreams. Set your intention, be on purpose, and move forward on this new path being created for you by your higher self, your God power, and you will be successful. And a happy new year!